So now we have created our uh, backend REST API using Django REST framework at Python. Now it's time to deploy our REST API to Heroku. So now let's get started. So now the first thing is that we need to install a couple of things. Now the first thing is the white noise, and that's because uh, anytime we push Django project to Heroku, it needs to run collect statics. Uh, you can disable that if you are not using the static folder. And also you can see the white noise uh, that is. Uh, uh, you can see that with a couple of lines of uh, config white noise allows your web app to serve its own static files. So first we need to just install this. Even though we are not using the any front end, but because uh, if you see here the Django uh, uh, REST framework uses the static files, uh, we have some design for this for the browsable API. By this reason, we need to just install this. Okay, so that install white noise and uh, also okay now that's installed. And after that, we are going to just open our settings.py file. Now in the settings.py file, what we need to do, uh, so in the static URLs in here, we can just say uh, static. So static, and I can just say root and os.path uh, join, And I can just say base dir and also static okay so you need to import os so at the top and here uh, i can just say import os so import os so after doing that after adding this static root os path of join base dir now we need to install another library that is g unicorn so i can just say pip install g unicorn and it will be installed okay now that's also installed after doing that uh, up in here, so in the my API, I can just say pip freeze requirements.txt because Horiko will look uh, for this file and it will install the required libraries. And now uh, if you see in here, so requirements.txt is created and you can see we are using Django 4.1. And after doing that, we need to just create a file in here. Let me create a file, and it should be and the name should be proc file. So proc, so proc file, okay. So like this, uh, uppercase P R O C F I L E. So proc file. Hit enter, okay. And in here we need to just say web g unicorn my API. So this is the project name. And after that WSGI. Okay. So <clears throat> my API WSGI. Okay. So after doing that, also uh, when we have installed white noise, we also we need to add this. So you can see that your setting is the pi file and add white noise to the middleware list above all other middleware apart from the Django security middleware. So we need to just add this bottom of the security middleware so we can just open settings.py file and we can just go at the top so and then installed uh, in the middleware so we uh so like this okay white noise so after doing that uh now what we need we need to just create a github repo because we want to push this to the github so click on new and uh, I can just say my rest and uh, you can give description. I want it should be private and uh, let's just create a repository. Uh, so that's created and now in here, now the first thing is that we need to just say get in it. And uh, after doing that, uh, what we need, uh, we need to just say get commit or uh, okay so first uh, I need to just say get at all and now I can just say get commit first commit I can just name it and after that you can just say get branch and now we can say it like this paste it in here and after doing that, we need to push that so to the GitHub.
Okay, so now that is pushed and if I go to the code, so now the project is in here. After doing that, we need to just open Heroku and in here we need to create a new app. So let's just click on this and I can just say uh, DJ or I can just say uh, block rest and uh, this name starts with the, okay so block rest and block rest API or I can just say block API one two uh, three uh, this is not available uh, Django API it's also not available Django blog API uh, I don't know what is available so let me check that so this is available Django blog API one is available we want to choose this region click on create app So now that is created after that. So there are different ways that you can use. You can use Heroku CLI or common line interface. We're using GitHub and I can just click on this. After that, we can just say connect to GitHub. So now let me just sign in to my GitHub. So now we are connected to the GitHub. So after doing that, we need to search our repo. So it was, uh, my rest and I can just search this search so this is my rest let's connect and now also we want to uh, enable automatic deploys and now we can just deploy branch okay so let's just wait and it will deploy the branch so let's wait and it will take a little bit so you can see it's doing its job and it's installing the libraries and okay so now that's done and if I view, so let's just wait. And you can see that now we are receiving an error that uh, we need to invalid HTTP post header and we need to add, you may need to add this in the allowed hosts. So we need to just copy this and we can just open our Django project and then the settings.py file and in here we need to add that like this and after that we need to just do it like this and we need to just make the back to false okay now when you're deploying your project you need to make the debugging to false so now let me just deploy this back uh, to the uh, Heroku so I can just say uh, uh, to the github get add all and after that I can just say uh, So, so get add all and I can just say second commit so and after that we can uh, just say get uh, push as your origin so now that's pushed and if I check this and if I check this, refresh this, uh, you will see that that's pushed. And also we will see automatic deployment for this because we have enabled it. So let's just go to resource or overview. Uh, yeah, you can see that the automatic deployment and let's just wait and it will automatically deploy this. So let's wait. Okay, now that's done. Let's just go. And not found because we need to just go to the API. After that, articles. Okay, 
So now we have our API articles and authentication credentials were not provided because we are not the uh, the user. So let's just go here and let's just log in. So now we are logged in and now you can see that that's deployed. And let's just say this is deployed to Heroku, to Heroku. And this is our description for Heroku deployment. And I can just post this. So that's added. This is the new Lee added. And uh, we have that. Uh, you can register a new user. So what was the route for the new user? And if I go to urls.py file, this was the registration. So let me copy and paste it in here. And after that, we can just use this. So this is the registration. And now we can just register a new user. And for example, I can just say new user and new user at gmail.com. We can give two passwords. And let's post. And you can see we have token. And now if I go to that main panel, so let's just go to that main panel. So now let's just log in uh, through that main panel and I can just log in. And uh, in the users, you'll see that we have now a new user. So a new user uh, that's created and in the tokens, you will see that new tokens created for the new user. Also, you can test uh, this uh, uh, using the postman and it will work. So for example, if I go here and uh, so for right now, we don't have any uh, token. So if I send request, so authentication credentials were not provided. And let's just go with the new user token. And I can just copy this and let's just go to the headers and I can just say authorization and token. Let's paste it and send. So now we have all of the articles and also you can post. So let's post body and let's just say postman by Horiko. We can just write something that should be good. So let's send. So that's added and if I get you'll see that I have ID9 and if I go in here so I have ID9 and also uh, if I refresh this you'll see that I have ID9 so you can see that the ID9 is added.